Hi everyone, my name is David Sobral. I am a reader in astrophysics and it is a pleasure to be your lecturer for Physics 101. That's functions and differentiation. Now in a normal world, uh, on a Monday at 9 a.m. I would be facing you, like literally face to face, in a lecture theater to welcome you to Lancaster and to the module. Unfortunately, that is not possible and therefore I've recorded a series of videos to guide you through the module and to make sure that no one's really left behind. In this video, I'd like to tell you just a tiny little bit about the, the research I do when I'm not teaching you or helping you in functions and differentiation. So I'm what people call an observational astrophysicist and specifically an extragalactic observational astrophysicist. And that is mostly because I care about things that lie way, like way, way beyond our own galaxy, distant galaxies essentially. And in practice, what I do is use some of the best telescopes on Earth and in space, like the Hubble Space Telescope, to look back in time and see how the universe and how galaxies look like when the universe was much younger. This is pretty cool because it then allows us to see how things are evolving and progressing. And the other reason why this is really cool is because I get to use all the physics that you're learning during your degree to both discover and study, kind of decipher the galaxy puzzle, the physics that are going on inside these distant galaxies. Perhaps my most famous discovery is a galaxy that I named Cosmos Redshift 7, or CR7 for short. And this galaxy became really famous because, and it's still, the brightest galaxy in the early universe. And even though it's almost, well, right now it's almost 30 billion light years away, and the light took about 13 billion years to get to us. And meanwhile, the universe kept expanding. So that's why it's really, really so far away. But it's intrinsically so bright that because we've now pointed the best telescopes at it, we're seeing for the very first time the physics of early galaxy formation and evolution. We're seeing kind of the first elements being created in this galaxy and also how it is assembling by a merger of smaller galaxies that are kind of coming together. And it's then really exciting to try to see if we can understand all the processes that happen in the following 13 billion years to get to galaxies like our own Milky Way or those huge elliptical galaxies that are 10, 100 times more massive and larger than our own Milky Way. So perhaps the final thing that I would tell you that it's really exciting about this field is that there are so many questions that we still don't have the answer for, which means it's incredibly exciting and the chances of making a big discovery are still very high unlike other fields. But on the other hand, it makes it extremely challenging and it's very easy to reach kind of dead ends. So if you do have questions about uh, my research, feel free to email me. And of course, feel free to contact me if you have questions about the module. And in other videos, I will tell you more about how the module is going to work, how you can contact me, and also how you're going to be assessed. So hopefully I'll see you around at some point, And if not, I'll see you on the, the next video.